Good evening from Xfinity Center. Maryland holds on 84-73. Jamison Battle almost had a game for the ages. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. Ahmed Gafir. Gafir the Turtle joins us. Ahmed, what'd you see out there tonight? Yeah, that was a very good performance. Uh, just to be able to see that out of Dante Scott, uh, Eric Ayala. Um, I just the, the, the complete offensive ex execution uh, was on complete display tonight. So uh, all-out team effort, uh, definitely a good way to close out the regular season. Or the hey. season. Maryland's back on track, 15 and 15 now. They secure the winning record at home at Michigan State on Sunday. Hakeem Hart had the do-everything game that, that people make people say that he's the most complete player on this team the 19 points the rebounds the free throws what'd you make of his showing tonight yeah you know i what he hard always sticks out to me just what he's able to do on all ends of the floor um i really like him i think he did, did a good job especially made some timely threes to help maryland uh keep made that healthy healthy lead at times um, and then defensively uh, he always flashes so uh definitely a good performance out of him the zone defense started to get to the Terps while Fats was on the bench. In the end, Eric Ayala hits what I'll call a Justin Tucker three. He was way out there. That broke the string, put the Terps back up by eight, and they did everything right to win it. One difference tonight was Maryland makes most of their one and one free throws. What they do you know what they ended up with at the line? I don't. I, I know that they, they ended up shooting. I believe it was around 80 percent tonight, but I think they did, they shot well from the line. All right, we're going to take a word from Rick Jacklich and Rock Jarrett right here, and we'll be back in a moment in College Park. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. Hiring the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dog. Back in College Park, celebrating on senior night, Troy Wainwright joins us. Troy, you spent that 2002 season, many others, as the director of basketball ops. What it mean to see the guys back together for you uh, on Sunday? Well, it was, uh, as, it, as it has been the last few times we've gotten together, it was just really surreal. Uh, I think getting together with those guys, just every time we're together, we uh, cement that bond that we all forged back in the uh, 2002 season. And, you know, we had a nice dinner on Saturday night and then the festivities on Sunday. And I think as we all walked away Sunday afternoon after a really great win here in, in Xfinity, uh, we just realized how much we love each other, how much it means to be around each other and how much we just want to see each other again. So it was great. Yeah, and uh, obviously just a chance for that 2002 team to come back and, and just bask in the glory of, of the championship year. Um, how was it just to be able to enjoy those emotions, like you said, just to get, get everyone back together again? Well, it's like that friend or, or those friends you see, and, you, you know, it's like you maybe haven't seen them for 10 or 15 years and things don't change. It's the same way it always was. And some of the same jokes, some of the same mannerisms, some of the same things that we said to each other 20 years ago, uh, come up again so uh, a lot of fun and, and again like I said I think we brought a little extra mojo for the team we got a huge win and I told them we're gonna have to come back more often if it, they can bring big wins to the Xfinity Center like that. So I've known you for years I never asked you but how'd you end up being the d director of basketball ops for Gary Williams? Well I was a student manager when I was here in school and so uh, I always had my eye on that position even when I was a manager I thought it would be a great job 
uh, once I got out of school. And so fortunate enough for me, I was at a job uh, that I had and Billy Hahn, who was then the assistant coach back in 1996, gave me a call and said, hey, would you like to come back and be the director of basketball operations? And I don't think he had gotten it completely out of his mouth. And I was, yes, and I'd already turned in my two weeks notice to my employer at the time. So it was uh, it was really a dream scenario with me. A lot of people say they have a dream job. Well, mine has been exactly that. And I'm going into my 26th year now. So uh, it's been a lot, of, a lot of fun and continues to be. Do you go back and watch those games or was being there enough? Well, you know, it's funny, uh, Coach Williams said he, he hadn't really watched the game all the way through, and I don't think I have either. I, I've watched bits and pieces, and, you know, certainly the uh, UConn game that was in the uh, Sweet 16 game, and then the Kentucky game after that, or rather vice versa, the Kentucky, I guess, was Sweet 16, and the UConn game was the Elite Eight. They, they were great games, really good games. And then to go on and play Kansas, a really good Kansas team who had been ranked uh, number one most of that season uh, and beat them as convincingly as, as we did. Uh, yeah, it, it just makes you feel great every time you watch it. Uh, you, you know every play, you know every, every time we go down or when we go up, but it never gets old, believe me. How old are you, Ahmed? Uh, 29. So that would make you... Do you remember when Maryland won the national championship? I was uh, yeah, eight, eight, eight years old, nine years old. Uh, I was one of my my first year. Unfortunately, was the 2001 season. I remember that 2001 Final Four very well. Unfortunately, and then 2002 was the uh, was the next season. So you know, got a chance to be introduced to some good good basketball very early on. For me, I, I watch those games and then I turn them off because I've seen it. But they're on, and you watch a little bit. Part of me wonders, and I'll, I'll leave it with this question to both of you, and then we'll wrap this up with a press conference to go to. It strikes me that that's going to be possibly the high point, that that's it. I, I heard what Gary Williams said on Sunday, that you got to keep fighting, and I'm really happy that I got to see it, and I got to experience it. But I, I just wonder, and I'll ask both of you, how do you get back there from here? Well, we got to uh, we got to finish out this year, and then we got to go find a really quality coach. Which I feel like our administration, led by Damon Evans, will do that. Uh, this is a quality job, and uh, and once that person gets here, uh, we got to amass some players. And uh, you know, the thing about the University of Maryland and Maryland men's basketball is we've won a national championship, so we know how to do it. It's been done. You can never say. Uh, that we've never done it or, or there's never that cloud of can you get it done there we can get it done here and we've proven that and I, and I do believe in all of our lifetimes Wayne including yours and mine and Ahmed's that we'll see another national championship here at the University of Maryland. All right, I'll give it to you to close it out here. Yeah, you know I, I really agree with that you know I believe just the fan support here you know when it when we pack it uh, there's not many places in the country that are able to put it together in an, an atmosphere like this um, and obviously just recruiting to how fertile the recruiting team territory is you find that coach you energize the fan base a little bit more get fans out on a more consistent basis um, I mean we are only two three years removed from uh, finishing the regular season undefeated at home so definitely think you're able to get from there and then uh, it's basketball so you're able to find that one maybe possible difference maker and then you know just keep on building but uh, I definitely think that Maryland once they get the new coach inject the new blood in and then uh, just just enjoy it and I will take that as a wrap-up. The Terps take it tonight on the Michigan State for Sunday to finish the season and then Indianapolis for the Big Ten Tournament. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. Thanks to Troy Wainwright and to Gafir the Turtle. I'm Wayne Viner. We will see you after the Notre Dame lacrosse game on Saturday afternoon with a post game show for that. Good evening.